Good morning and welcome to our daily devotions. Today is Monday the 12th of July and a new week is beginning and I hope uh, it will be better as we plug along through this COVID shutdown. Today's section is from Romans chapter 4 verses 16 to 5 verse 11 and it follows on from what we looked at a few weeks ago uh, from Romans chapter 4 1 to 15 where we saw that God's promise of righteousness through Jesus Christ uh, is available always for everyone who has faith in God. And you remember Paul demonstrated that Abraham was justified by faith alone through Christ alone. And the scriptures show Abraham's story uh, warts and all. We see him as he really was and yet God loved him and reckoned his faith as being uh, righteousness. So Abraham's story effectively shows us that God keeps his promises and works out his eternal purposes through us even though our faith is very weak. Today we'll see how Paul continues his argument that the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ dying for us while we were still enemies of God means that by faith alone we too can have peace with God and can live lives of hope and rejoice in God's uh, wonderful blessings to us as God's beloved children. We can speak to him each day knowing that there is no barrier between us and him. Listen to what Paul writes in Romans 5, 1 to 5. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So let me encourage you to read Romans 4, 16 to 5, 11. Romans 4, 16 to 5, 11, and reflect upon the joy of being satisfied that you are justified by faith in the atoning death of Jesus so that we are able to rejoice in the sufferings that come our way in this world on a regular basis like those we may be suffering now. And we can look forward with great confidence to life eternal with our loving God and Heavenly Father, because we have been declared by Jesus dying in our place to be those who are justified, who have, as it were, been made just as if they'd never sinned by God and received into his great heavenly family. So let me pray for us today as we read God's word. Loving God, Without you, we are not able to please you. Mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may assist us in the reading and applying of your word today, so that in all things you may direct and rule our lives, and we learn how to follow the steps of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Friends, I, find that, I hope that you find today that uh, Romans 4, 16 to 5, 11 uh, will be a great encouragement to you as you read it and uh, set the scene for the rest of the week as you, with his help, love and serve him more and more day by day. Bye for now.